What's going on guys? Sing here, back at you with another video. Um, I wanted to look at some of these also reports and um, maybe just talk generally about the game as far as what Evany can do to kind of help out um, balance the game a little bit more in a freer way. Uh, I guess freer way is, is, I don't know, maybe that's a cheap way out really um i don't know if that's kind of fair to say uh, unfortunately my reports won't load past uh you know all the way back here but um to be honest uh i i think the game is is really making progress in the right direction um it's it's doing a really good job generally speaking i know it sounds like oddly optimistic but i i kind of feel good about it to be quite honest uh only thing is it's it's just really exclusive uh it's the only problem with the game which is very exclusive if you haven't been on a moderate path uh to, to high actually a high coining path i'm going to call it that because games shouldn't be this expensive you're not you're not going to really um stand too much of a chance uh as far as you know catching up quickly but um the the big thing the first thing i wanted to address as far as like what will help is like debuff um particularly surrounding siege because that seems to be the big thing that's hurting a lot of people i wanted to look at some siege reports like this first one over here on sec off he actually tanked this way better than i thought he would um it's a 40 well 53 mil um siege rally 54 mil holy crap uh siege rally on him and it only took out 4.2 i know i'm saying only but that's that's actually pretty good and he doesn't even have that much siege debuff but maybe it has something to do with the quantity but I think Siege debuff um, needs to come into the game in, a, in more ways uh, that are easier to get, possibly. Um, it it really would help out a lot. Um, I'm kind of curious to see who else we had, had sieged over here. We probably had sieged Mr. Boss at some point. We ranged him over there. I tried to ground soul him over there. Um, let's find some more debuff. People are tanking better, bro. Like I'm not. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of RSP's videos. A 9.7, we normally would calve uh, a 9.7 pretty easily. And this dude's buffs aren't really stellar. And he's not a T1 trap, really. I mean, his buffs aren't crazy. You know what worked out for him? Look at his debuff. That's why. His debuffs are fantastic. He maxed out my cav HP debuff. He's doing a great job with cav HP debuff. Um, and his cav attack debuff is fantastic as well. Cav defense isn't bad at all. So he's, he's doing a wonderful job. I'm not sure how he's doing it. I mean, let's actually take a look. What does he have as, as generals? Is it a bunch of Neros? Like, what's he doing for his subgens? So Andrew Jackson has a bunch of Cav HP. Darius, uh, I can't remember what he does. Baldwin, Farragut. Mark Anthony is a fantastic subgen. Harold's pretty good. Barbkin, okay, nut, nut, more cav HP, more cav HP. Okay, so he's got like some cav HP debuff. Um, let's see some more if we can. Okay, BC had a great defense. I thought this cav would. Again, 11.8, this is someone that we could normally cav from full, like back in the day. But, I mean, look at the ratio. It's like, it's, it's not that crazy. I mean, granted, like a lot of us were dusty, but... Um, Buffs are stellar though, and and debuffs are stellar too. Like nearly maxed out cav HP debuff. Did, did a great job with the debuffs here. So that's that's a that's a really big part of this whole thing. Again, is is the debuffs. Um, let's see. Even he even tanked the range as well. So again, people are doing a great job tanking. And there was one report in particular that I wanted to look at. Let me see if I can find it. It was a full range rally that was that was tanked amazingly well. Uh, it was near the end over here. Yes, Cha. Okay, it wasn't this one. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find it. I didn't have it saved over here for you guys. Okay, we sieged him. We even sieged him first, dude. So normally you guys know our siege range combos and RSP are pretty strong. So we had sieged him first. Went negative on the Siege. You can check out his buffs. His buffs are amazing. Only 200 Siege HP debuff. Um, but you guys could check out the stats over there. 1,523 Siege HP. 1,549 Siege defense. I mean, this dude's put some, some money into his account, man. By himself on defense. 
I mean, his siege count's not amazing either. But uh, so we did that, and then the range, dude. Look at this ratio. This is this is a, a 51. This is a max range rally, nearly. Um, and he went nearly positive. The, I mean, you don't. I mean, granted, again, this is near the end of the game. Okay, like an hour in. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, no, near the end, I think. This is uh, close to the finish. Ten minutes before it ended. So everyone, no one's healing. People are probably sending layers and stuff, but... God damn, man. Like, that's a tank and a half. Um, yeah, and it just he just did a great job tanking over here. Uh, stellar Cav HP, Cav defense, like, great buffs, and just, and just tons of... Uh, if you guys want to see uh, his troops, I was dusty as well. But what I'm trying to say is uh, debuff um, is really key, and finding ways to get more debuff is is very key because that's what I'm seeing as a difference maker. The biggest report we had, okay, there we go. Biggest report was uh, I'm gonna turn these notifications off. Was um, was a 14.5 range rally near the beginning. Unfortunately, my reports are delete, deleted, so I couldn't really uh, show you guys that. Um, this is where I died at the end to loom my my. And this range was the biggest, or the worst defense that I took was this range. Uh, but I was pretty much was pretty much dead at that point, anyway. But um, yeah, guys, that's that's the difference that I'm seeing between like the attacks that are doing well and not doing well. Like uh, this person nearly tanked our range rally. Like we lost a lot of power there. Mags did pretty well against this range. People are doing better on defense and and I'm, I'm giving credit to to debuff, man. Um, that's, in my opinion, that's really what's going on. Here's Lori from RSP. Let's see how I range. Not bad. But yeah, guys, I would start focusing a little bit more on debuff if possible. Um, start ascending your sub gens. Uh, like, I'll show you guys what I have going on over here, so. I do have um, do have a Barb King. Here, let me show you my sub generals this way. So got a Barb King two star, got a Nero one star and a Nero two star, and I still got a bunch of Nut the Greats, which I, I need to slowly work on removing. And I have another Barb King two star. So uh, I'd say like you know, I'm I'm getting there, you know, I'm kinda making my way through the uh, through the subgens over here. But um, yeah, I'm focusing a little bit more on HP debuff uh, as time is going on, personally, and making sure I'm still copying range attack debuff, uh, considering putting Baldwin in there. Um, I think uh, like Nordic is a, is a great subgen. He's got a little bit of siege HP debuff over here and range attack debuff in his base, which is always useful. Nero, um, he's got the 15% all HP, so this is like calves, range, siege, so all that HP debuff works. And then he's got another 20% here, um, and he's got this 10% defense, and then some HP over there. So, um, starting to work on that, guys. And yeah, just uh, you know, while you're also considering debuff, just look at some of the sim gear. Um, there is a debuff set, which freaking <laughs> I, I made, as you can tell, I've been making a lot of progress on some of these sets, guys. Been working really hard. Um, but yeah, there is a debuff set over here, uh, and you can, you can check it out and see if there's something that you're short on. Um, siege attack you don't really need, but this has some range attack if you're low on that, uh, ground defense, but I like this one. It's got some, uh, range HP, siege HP, and some more range attack, range defense and stuff. It's a pretty good piece. Um, and this one ain't bad at all. The scepter is great. Range attack, mounted HP, ground defense. I mean, this is like a whole subgen, but of course you're displacing an actual piece that you're already wearing. Um, the chest plate looks looks great, man. Wow. Yeah, the chest plate looks awesome. So, so some of these debuff pieces are actually really good. I mean, I never ever thought I would ever consider like, hey, the Civ debuff pieces are great, but yeah, the Civ debuff pieces are uh, are good looking. So. Yeah, guys, that's just one thing to consider. I was just reading through reports and I was just seeing what the difference maker was. I really wish I had access to all my reports, um, but you know how last Battlefield was, but wasn't really able to get <laughs> access to all those reports, but it is what it is. 
Um, anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Bit of a ramble, just to talk about some debuffs. That's what I think the big difference maker was. Um, and yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.